Hey y'all, my name's Jerdy, and in this video we'll be going over a fun little outlaw, gunslinger, rogue leveling build in Season of Discovery. Now before we get started, I want to make this clear, this is solely for solo leveling. This is not an endgame min-maxing build. This is for leveling up by yourself in the open world. With that being said though, let's get on with the video. So the whole reason I'm making this video is because I'm currently leveling a rogue right now, and I just found myself dying. Take some energy! Oh! No! Dude! Dude! Oh my! Blizzard! Like, a lot. It was really, really annoying. And all of that changed when I came across two runes. In Between the Eyes and Quick Draw. Quick Draw awards you one combo point. It does instant damage and does a reduced speed by 50% for 6 seconds. Between the Eyes is our finishing move for this build. Not only doing damage, but also applying a stun anywhere from one to five seconds, depending on how many combo points you have. And this is where we get to pick what we want to do. You can go Mutilate, which forces you to go Daggers. You can go Saber Slash, which would be better to go Swords. Regardless of which you use, they're both going to have the same rotation. They're just going to have slightly different effects. With Mutilate, you're going to get longer stuns and the fact that one Mutilate awards two combo points. But with Saber Slash, you're going to do more damage and get to apply that nice little bleed onto your target. So the whole point of this build is for you to use your gun, use your ranged weapon. It's that we get hit less, but that we hit more. Using your gun, using your ranged weapon, being that outlaw, gunslinger rogue, is the name of the game when we use this build. I know when you see our talents, you think we'd go into dodge and parry, but that's pointless with this build because we're just not going to let the enemies hit us. Remember, we're kiting, we're using stuns in this build, so we're going to avoid really building into the combat tree, except for improved Sinister Strike, because not only does this apply to Sinister Strike, but it will also apply to Saber Slash and Quick Draw. From there, I would put points into Malice, then Murder, Ruthlessness, Relentless Strikes, and last, Improved Slice and Dice, because we're not going to use this while leveling up. But we still build up the same talents, as we would use our BIS DPS build at 25, the Deadly Brew and Venom Saber Slash build. So let's see this rotation in action, right? Let's see what we're talking about here. So first we're gonna open with our shoot gun at max range. Then we're gonna try and get a shoot gun again, go into our quick draw, mutilate, get one more mutilate in there for five combo points. Then we're gonna hit him with between the eyes, run out, shoot and quick draw again and the mob's dead if not just rinse and repeat the rotation afterwards for range it's going to be a slightly different rotation what you're going to do is you're going to open with your shoot gun then quick draw but then you're going to go immediately between the eyes to stop their cast start applying your mutilate or your saber slash get ready for a kick as they're going to cast again and these mobs should die a lot faster because they have a lot less armor as casters. When it comes to our professions solely for leveling, I truly believe going mining and engineering is the play. I'm like not practicing when I'm preaching because my engineering is not where I want it to be for my level. But through engineering, you get to make your own guns, bullets for your own guns, a headpiece with stats on it, a scope that adds more damage to your guns, target dummies for distractions, bombs that do stuns and bombs that do overall damage, bombs that will go into your rotation as you're leveling, and then a fun little bonus are practice locks that we get to make for leveling our lock picking. At end game, however, engineering and leatherworking is going to be your bis for the crafted epic gauntlets and the bombs you get through engineering, good both for PvE and PvP. However, the only issue comes with not having a gathering skill for either of those. So if it's your alt, like this is for me, very easy because I have a miner and a leather worker. But if it's your main, make sure you have some sort of way of making money to get those materials for your professions. Lastly, I just want to talk about some things I would love to see like in later phases that I get to build off of this cool outlaw, gunslinger, whatever you want to call it, buccaneer, pirate spec. Um, I would love to see like a barrage ability or a rapid fire ability. Just anything that encourages using your gun more. I think would be really really cool i was not having fun at all playing rogue until i created this build and i would love to actually get to use this build in raid and end game content can you absolutely will you upset the hunter if you say that the gun is your best for your spec probably but that's funny because hunters take our loot anyway 
probably not do as much damage as the rogue that's in the, the deadly brew build yes but remember it's season discovery it's fun and if you're having fun and you're not doing terrible damage mess around with it see if you like it let me know if y'all try this build out on your own let me know if you like it or not let me know if you think it's just awful let me know if I'm just stupid and this is the dumbest thing you've ever tried in your entire life. Just be respectful about it as always. Um, before I close out, I want to give a huge shout out to y'all because I did not expect my first video ever on YouTube to be almost at 10,000 views. So thank y'all so much. If y'all are a wannabe prop paladin and you want to check out that guide, please go check it out. Follow me on Twitch. I stream on twitch.tv slash dirtyjd. And with that being said, thank y'all for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for saying hi. And I'll see you on the next one.